Hey everyone, this is Bondi, and of course, welcome to a new weapon comparison video. And uh, this one, we're actually going to be doing the PDW57 against the MSMC or versus the MSMC. Uh, you know, seeing which is better in terms of damage, uh, bullet spread, and the amount of bullets in a magazine. So this was actually suggested to me to do uh, by Milan Saponja. Sorry, I forgot the name completely wrong. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually absolutely awful with names and stuff like that. So uh, I'm very sorry if I did get it wrong. Uh, so we're going to be testing it out and seeing which is better. Obviously, I'm, both, I'm very fond of both these guns. Uh, the MSMC, I got gold the other day, and uh, I did a weapon comparison of that against the Vector, uh, which was the it was the better gun out of all of those. And then the PDW, I also got gold the other day and did a weapon comparison. That was my first one against the MP, MP7, and that, uh, that seemed to come out on top as well. So we're going to be seeing, you know, two of the best guns out of both weapon comparisons we've got, uh, comparing them together and seeing, uh, you know, which is best. So uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright, so just a little bit of uh, background information for you about the guns. The PDW without any extended mags has 50 bullets. The PDW with extended mags has 60. Uh, the MSMC without extended mags has 30. And with extended mags it has 40. So the PDW is already looking like the better gun, just in terms of how many bullets are in a magazine. Uh, obviously it's got 20 more bullets, uh, even if you... If you if you were to compare the, MP, the the PDW against the MSMC extended mags, it's got 10 more bullets already. You know, so just with that extended mags, it's already got that extra 10 bullets, which obviously could easily be an extra two kills. Uh, so we'll get into the uh, amount of bullets it takes to actually kill them because we. Uh, we don't want to make it too confusing and use like older clips and stuff. Uh, also, I do want to say thank you very much to I am the Dino. Obviously, he's a good friend of mine. Um, I also commentate every now and again for his uh, community channel, Bomb Defense Daily. So there'll be an annotation on the screen and in the description just for you to go check them out and you know see if you like what they do. And we'll get straight into it. Right, so this wasn't really what I was expecting, but uh, the MSMC and the PDW from the same amount of range uh, actually only takes three bullets to kill them each. Uh, from a fairly long distance, as you know, the normal distance is, it only takes four on both guns. You know, I wasn't really expecting that. So uh, from this you know, point of view, the amount of damage it actually deals, the guns are very, very uh, equal, very, very average uh, to each other. So uh, we're going to get straight into the bullets for it as well after this clip. And, uh, you know, I was quite surprised with the amount of bullets it actually takes. I thought it was going to take a lot more, uh, but from that's, that's quite, a long, quite a long way, you know. That's, uh, that's something you'd expect from an assault rifle, not really a submachine gun. So uh, we'll get straight into the bullet spreads to see what we can get there. Alright, so now I've got both the guns. The MSMC without grip, with grip, and then the PDW without grip and with grip. Uh, so both guns, what I noticed is uh, they actually recoil less without grip <laughs> you know it doesn't really make much sense you'd think the grip attachment would uh, make them not recoil quite as much but i tested this a few times just to make sure you know like i wasn't using like the wrong attachment or something and i was using grip and uh, both guns recoil less without grip you know so uh, one thing i suggest don't use grip uh, it doesn't seem to actually do anything like here we've got the pdw with grip and uh, it's all over the place you know it goes up it goes right it goes left and without grip it went nowhere uh, the photo you can see on screen in a second uh, i've basically cropped all the uh, bullet spreads out and put them into one picture you know my uh, my skills in photoshop aren't amazing <laughs> they're really not i basically just cropped um, cropped the bullet spreads out from uh, from one to another and then that's what you get so the msmc uh, as you can see like quite clearly the uh, without grip actually looks a hell of a lot better you know the bullet spreads are a lot lower the msmc uh, does seem the more accurate gun the pdw seems to you know move left and right now all together though i'd say it I'd, say, I'd still kind of say the PDW is a better gun, just purely because of the amount of bullets you get in a mag. Um, the recoil wasn't much difference, but you know, if you have that extra 20 bullets, uh, you know, it really makes a difference. That, that could be an extra what four or five kills. You know, you don't have to reload as often. You put in the mags on there, and you get an extra 10 bullets as well. Uh, so definitely the PDW, in my opinion. Uh, but in terms of you know what what gun looks best, <laughs> um, I'll, let, I'll let you guys work that out and uh, see what you guys think is the best gun. So leave a comment uh, what you think is the best gun, even uh, even without this video, and which you prefer using. And I'll hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. Alright, so if you're still here, of course, thank you so much for watching. Uh, the video on screen is actually my previous weapon comparison, which was the MSMC versus the Vector. Uh, you know, it's very interesting to see which is better because it got such fast rate of fires, both of them. Uh, so you can go check that out as well. And also remember to click the subscribe button, obviously, if you're new. And uh, you want to see more content like this. And I hope to see you next video. Goodbye.